Lesson 16. All that waste. Anything that is no longer useful is called waste. Waste includes torn papers, old toys, broken utensils, plastic bottles, wrappers, tetra packs, vegetable peels, etc. The waste produced in large quantity leads to pollution of land, water and air. Insects and animals gather around waste thrown on land. Stagnant, dirty water is a breeding ground for mosquitoes, resulting in the spread of diseases. Burning the waste material causes air pollution. Pollution affects our health very badly. So it is important to dispose of garbage in a safe way. Wastes like leaves, flowers, papers, vegetable peels, Fruits that easily mix with soil are called biodegradable wastes. Wastes like metals, glasses, plastics that do not rot and hence do not mix with the soil are called non-biodegradable wastes. It is important to separate biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes before disposed. The various steps of waste disposed are Sweeper collects garbage from door to door. The garbage is dumped in local garbage bin. The cranes of municipal corporation load the garbage in trucks. The MCD trucks carry the garbage and dump outside the town or city. The heap of garbage is levelled by bulldozers or rollers. Waste can be managed by following three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce the number of things you buy. Carry cloth bags instead of plastic and paper bags. Avoid buying packaged food. Reuse old things to make new things. Give away things that you do not use. Recycling involves processing waste materials to produce new things. This helps to reduce the waste produced. Broken glasses and steel and aluminium cans are recycled to make new bottles and cans.